This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. The undefeated WBA Walter Wake champion of the world. The one and only Keith. One time. Thurman! Yeah, 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 yeah. WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World is here. Yeah. Keith Thurman, one time. All this the is time. It. All the time. <laughs> How you been, bro? Been good. Yourself, brother? Well, welcome back home, man. Oh, man, welcome it's a back pleasure, home, man. Welcome back home, man. It's always a pleasure. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. He's here. Yep. All right, thank you for the Rocky music. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Keith, welcome back to the show, man. Oh, it's great being back, man. It's great being back in the city. And you already know what happened last time. We put on one hell of a show, man. And um, we're going to do it again Saturday night, man. Last time we were here, we were talking about Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. and, and we thought it was going to be a tough fight. And I had Sean Porter here, and we were talking about who's going to knock out who. Who's going to win? Sean Porter's dad told me to bet on him. You told me, Sway, keep your money in your pocket, man. <laughs> Feed your kids. And so I didn't bet at all, Keith. You know, but I was there at front. We was second row right mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. I felt sweat hitting me on my forehead. I almost jumped in the ring. It was a tough fight. Yes, sir. Sean was a tough fight, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, he, he, I saw him hit you in the body a few times. and you know. He tried to, you know, he, he tried to beat the champ. He came prepared, yeah. you know, but uh, he fell short. He fell short. Were you at your best that night? You know, I kind of wasn't, man, and um, that was on me. But really, outside of that, too, man, I went through a lot in my training camp because a lot of people didn't understand how that fight manifested and that I suffered a car accident and I had whiplash mm -hmm. in training camp, which postponed the fight, which was, which was a good thing because it made it happen in Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I went from training camp into an eight-week recovery camp mm -hmm. back into an eight-week training camp. And I and I kept with the same opponent yeah. when my opponent was training throughout the whole time. I mean, you saw the strength and conditioning that Sean Porter. Sean's came strong, in, man. I you feel know, it. yeah. And and I knew for the first time in my career that you're gonna have to admit that this dude is gonna show up in better shape than you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to try to hurt him because you know your hands can do that. But outside of that, you're gonna have to finesse your way into victory if you cannot stop him on that night. And that's exactly what we did. We showed them why Keith One Time Thurman is the champion of the world today because on that night, I showed my will to win. You know, I tell people I gotta, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go, but it doesn't mean I'm just gonna hand it over to you. That's what's up. Keith Thurman, ladies and gentlemen. So Keith, then what's more important? Is it 50-50? Is it 50 mental and 50 uh, physical? Or is it 100% mental then? You said you will, what, is, what does that mean? As my boy would say, he's got a tattooed on his chest, 110% heart, 110% heart. Yeah, you're going to need that, man, because uh, this guy that you're facing in the ring, you have said is one of your – you are one of his toughest challengers, but he very well may be one of your toughest challengers as well. He's never lost. Mm -hmm. He's hard-hitting. He's a patient fighter. Yes. You know, he, he comes from a, a boxing gym where they're used to pain. He probably feeds off pain. Um, and just even in these press conferences alone, mm -hmm. it feels like the fight is already starting. This boy right here, right? This you dude, lost ponytail. You're gonna talk shit, right? The same way, <laughs> the same way that you used to wipe the shit off of Danny's ass when he was a child, right? When he was a little baby, you used to handle his shit, right? You used to handle his shit when he was in diapers, right? And now you're trying to handle his shit now. Bitch ass nigga. Son to sleep. Bruce, you in the East Coast, let's, let's, bitch. See how, let's see how he talks when his son is laying down on a blue mat. My son we'll see how you up. He gonna fuck you up. He gonna try, bro. He I know that. He gonna up. try, bro. He I know he gonna try, bro. Up, bro. My nigga. I know he gonna try, bro. He gonna snitch and you can't afford it. I know he gonna try. Yeah, that was a real day right there. That was a real day. Let me tell you something, bitch ass nigga. Listen. You getting fucked up. His pops called you a bitch. Keith, what was happening? Because uh, Pops is real deal, man. This is it's Heather, what you're seeing here, really, since Mayweather retired. Yeah. This is by far the most exciting bo division in boxing mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. This is, it used to be heavyweights, you know, but yeah. this right here, this is it. You got so many potential contenders. Timothy Bradley, Manny Pacquiao is still out there. Kel Brook is still out there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Errol we spoke Spencer. To, we spoke you know, to Charo Brothers in Houston. 
to yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so and so everybody's trying to claim the crown yeah and in order to do that you have to go through Keith Thurman damn right you got to go through Danny Garcia mm. and if you don't go through those two you can never successfully hold the crown so all of this is at stake right and then you got Manny Pacquiao just lurking just hanging out we don't know why, man. He's hanging out. Because he thought he wanted to fight. Yeah. <laughs> he said he thought he wanted So he's hanging out. <laughs> you took, you know, Danny had a tune-up fight, you know, mm-hmm. to get ready for this one. You haven't had one since, what, is it Sean Porter? Now, since Sean Porter. And that was, what, yep. how many, nine months? In I mean, June. In June, mm-hmm. right? Late June. Yeah. Where are you now? Are you 100% because, you know, you didn't use the fact that you had the whiplash and as, as an excuse. You still stepped into the ring. But yeah. now there's... You can't say nothing now. Are you 100% men- mentally and physically? Oh, yeah, man. You know, last year what people didn't understand was my body did go through a lot, and I had an option, man. We could have got a stay busy fight, right? Mm-hmm. Or we could have waited for the fight that we wanted to manifest, and that's the route that we chose because take, stepping in the ring, you're always subject to risk. What if a new injury occurred? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then this fight would not happen right here, right now. Mm-hmm. So I wanted what I wanted, and I knew – through Al Heyman that I was gonna it was gonna produce and manifest. We announced this fight last year during his little tune up fight. Uh-huh. You know, because he was highly favored to win that fight. It wasn't a high risk fight for him, but he was he had his own form of inactivity. Thus his dad said, Well, we'll we'll take on Thurman, but let us warm ourselves up and then we're gonna go handle that business because they can talk that talk, but they know this is the toughest fight of their career. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. Danny went moved up and weight in the divisions and now he's he, this is it, man. This mm-hmm. is a real welterweight. Um he's probably gonna get hit harder than he's ever been hit. You may be hit harder than you ever been hit. This is the that's, fight, that's ladies and gentlemen. That's what's that's, that's what's what it's all, all about. about. Barclay Center. This Saturday, it's going down. It's going down, baby. I'm flying to Paris today for business, but I'm going to be Saturday night watching this fight on what network? On CBS. Wow. So that means you can watch it too. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of callers on the line. Uh, Keith Thurman is here. This is a super welterweight title. Listen, you can love him. You can hate him. Doesn't matter as long as you respect him one time. One yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One time. The champ is here. In the building. Sway in the morning. Say four five. Call us. And we have him here in the studio with us today, fighting at the Barclay Center this Saturday night on CBS. So welterweight unification fight between him and the undefeated Danny Hard Hitting Garcia. I just gave him my own. You put that in there? <laughs> okay. That in there, you, you had know, to call him something. something. I got to call him something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They all have names, but I make up my own names for gotcha. the boxers. Keith, you and I have known each other for years now. Um, one of the things I enjoy most, man, when I when I first met Keith, you know, I don't even know he knew I knew him, you know. And, man, you, you are always willing to talk boxing, you know, yeah. and to be able to sit for me, you know, a former boxer myself. I wow. told you about my past. <laughs> You know, when I was like nine and ten, I used to jump in the ring. Um, <laughs> oh, the Mexican boy beat the, the up, little right? Mexican kid punched me in the nose, Keith. <laughs> started running track. You know, I went a different direction. You know, true that, true and that. And hip hop say, <laughs> hip hop say, but I'll whoop a rapper's ass right. if I had to. Um, wow. You, you always talk about the science of boxing. So if you were to <laughs> step outside of yourself and look at this fight and compare and contrast styles, what would you say? that Keith Thurman has to be careful of when it comes to Danny Garcia. Well, it's interesting. I mean, this fight's going down Saturday night, so it's been on my mind for a minute, and I've had many different reporters and people ask me similar questions. And so at the end of the day, you know, the funny thing is you'll see that a lot of people talk about how Danny Garcia is a flat-footed fighter. Uh-huh. You know, he's uh, very calm, He's and he's, he's poised, and... There's a little awkward awkwardness to him too, the way that he he drops his um, big left hooks and his overhand rights. But the thing is, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, this fighter's flat footed. All you need to do is get a real good boxer with some defense, and they'll, they'll whoop him up all day, right? And that's that's the fundamentals that people say when you're dealing with a flat footed fighter because they move slower than an athletic fighter, Muhammad Ali style, somebody that's on their toes, bouncing around the ring, yeah. right? But 
what they don't understand when when also talking about a flat-footed fighter is that everybody's fight style has a pro and has a con mm. the con for danny is that somebody agile somebody almost like myself should be able to move around from time to time and make it a little bit difficult and challenging if i can mix it up and and, and mess up his timing because he's a very uh he times his punches as well mm -hmm. but the strength of being so flat-footed means that at all times every second of that three minute round he's on balance right mm -hmm. and because he's on balance when it's time to let go of those overhand rights and those left hooks he's giving it to you in the most uh -huh, you know uh -huh. he you know you see Manny Pacquiao bouncing 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 he throws lots of combinations and he can hurt you a little bit but he'll throw you know four or five punches and it's just four or five punches they're not all devastating yeah when Danny Garcia throws a two three punch four punch combination he is planning on hurting you he's you know I say he's swinging for the fences uh -huh. I say he throws his punches like he's a batter batters up he swings he's looking for that home run you know, and um, we're going to have to be weary of that. He is coming up into my weight class. Um, I also gauge his power in a very special way, which is most of the people that he's knocked down, yeah. they've stood up. Okay? And and I don't think a lot of people analyze that. I'm a world-class fighter. I analyze everything. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> if if you put, you know, the Tyson era and everything, yeah. when you hitting a dude and, you know, he got Z's and, and he counting sheep and stuff, yeah. that's a whole nother topic. Yeah. But one of Danny Garcia's tremendous wins was against Amir Khan in his career at mm -hmm. 140, right? Mm -hmm. He was the underdog. He's been an underdog several times. He's the underdog in this fight. He says he don't mind being the underdog. He likes proving everybody wrong, you know, respect. But at the end of the day, you know, Amir got caught. Yeah. But people forget to say, Amir stood up. Then yeah. he got caught again. Then he stood up again. Uh -huh. Then he got caught for a third time. Stood up for a third time. And the referee stopped the fight. So a lot of times when, when, when Danny's hurting you, you still have the ability to fight. Yeah. And Keith One Time Thurman takes that into consideration. Because if I have the ability to fight, yeah. I got, we have the ability to trade. Yeah. And if you give me another shot at trading at you, uh -huh. you know, I mean... I, I like these baseball references. Like you hit you you hit a little home run, I hit a little home run, or you hit a line drive and somebody scores a home run. But then when's the grand slam coming? Mm, you feel me? I get that. But when's the grand, grand slam, slam coming? coming? So let me ask you this: you you said you both hit hard. You're one time he hits hard, and after all this stuff y'all been talking, you know what I mean? Are you gonna try to knock him out? Will will, will we see a knockout? Man, tell my tell my listener we got thirty two million subscribers. Look, man, it ain't even just about the fight. I got beef with the Barclays Center. All right, <laughs> I got I got beef with the Barclays Center. Man, out of twenty seven and no, yeah, twenty two wins coming by way of knockout. Right, five people have not gotten stopped, but only two were never even dropped. Yeah, and why did that happen in the Barclays Arena? Okay. Yeah. So Thurman's coming in with 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 some envy. I gotta put somebody down, and it looks like it's gonna be Danny Swift Garcia Saturday night. Yes. In the Barclays Arena. Yes. That arena needs to see why my name is one time. You know. Mm. I mean, you saw me hurt Sean Porter several times throughout yeah. the fight, mm -hmm. but that boy was strong. He had he had a heart of gold, you know, and he stood up to it. You know, but I saw him go to your body and look like he hurt you in the body. Yeah, everybody say this little the, body stuff, man. Look, you, you didn't feel that, Keith? I felt that, it. I there went, was Ooh. one. There was one shot where I realized I didn't. I went back to the press. You know, I'm getting hit. If I'm if I'm hurt, yeah, I know when I was hurt. You know, and I remember I was like body shot. Why, why did why is this body? Why are they bringing up one of these body shots he landed? I do remember him landing a real nice clean one. Yeah. And I realized once when I rewatched the tape, oh, they talking about that one. I did feel it when it happened, but it's not that it hurt me, it's that I knew he landed flush. Yeah. And I knew he knew he landed flush and I had a feeling that he wasn't going to quit his attack. Uh -huh. So I started to retreat, but then he started to rush me down. And I realized on film and in the moment and in the highlight and every moment of that, 
it did not look good on my behalf. It did look like I possibly was hurt. See, it's a very funny thing when people are on the outside, especially the commentators, yeah. they see a nice clean blow happen, and sometimes, you know, knees aren't buckling, but a fighter responds in the reaction of, hey, I got hit, I'm going to take a step back, yeah. you know? And so the commentators go, yo, that one got this fighter right here, right now. Yeah. First off, are you him? Were you hit? Do you know? Yeah. You know, that's... Yeah. You know, and and that's how I've always felt about it. But you know, it was a good shot. It, it got my respect. I wasn't trying to get hit with more shots, so I I went into a re, a, a retreat mode, uh -huh. and he went into a rushdown mode, and it 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 looked bad. But it was nothing in comparison for those who follow Keith One Time Thurman in comparison to that Luis Colazo body shot yeah. that I suffered in Tampa. Yeah, you know that was the most uh, critical body blow that I suffered. I extended an overhand right, mm -hmm. and before my arm, my elbow can come back to protect my ribs, it was a perfectly timed shot. Yeah. With the with his left hand, he's a southpaw from the back foot of of him, and it was just, it was just well placed. But you know, at the end of the day, your boy one time doesn't go down, man. Okay, I want to go to the phone lines eight 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 seven four two three three four five. We got a lot of folks from Philly that call us. Any Danny Garcia fans that want to talk to Keith Thurman, he's right here. Uh, and if you're a Keith Thurman fan, uh, give us a call. We got Bryant. You from Philly, Bryant? Absolutely, Sway. What's happening? What's up, man? Say what What's up to Bryant, man. What up, Keith Thurman? What up, B? I, what up? I listen to y'all every morning, Sway. I just had to tell you this. My kids love you. My girl love you. Everybody love you, man. Oh, that's what's up. Tell, you, hey, hey, man, work, man. Hey, 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 tell the whole family they citizens. The the All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, hey, man. Hey, Keith. Uh, listen. I'm I'm a Danny fan. I'm actually from North Philly, man. But I need you to knock Danny the fuck out because I got about 500 on this joint. I've been a fan of yours. <laughs> I've been a fan of yours for a minute, and I seen how you how you withstood the pressure from Porter. And if you can withstand that pressure from Porter, I think you can mop the division, except for Floyd. But okay, except for division, Floyd. Though. Okay, well, you know except Floyd's retired. Floyd. Ret Floyd's retired. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying is, you can mop this division. Yeah, you know respect, I'm my man. I'm riding with you on this, man, and I'm from North Philly, man. All right, okay, damn. That's, that's what we're talking yeah, about, man. Thank you for that love and support, man. That? Yeah, <laughs> Brian, you a traitor, man. <laughs> from North Philly, I said people. He, said he got five hundred on the fight, though, Sway. I said Garcia fans. He, he called it. Want you to knock him out. Let's go to Chicago, Paul. What up, baby? How you Paul, doing? What's poppin'? Paul, what's popping? What's up with it? What's up with it, Sway? What's what? up? One time. What's up? What's up, Paul? How you doing? What's up? I'm all right. I just want to say I'm a big fan. I like the way you carry yourself. And uh, my, my dad, he the reason why I'm a big fight fan. And they, my parents, they moved to Houston like three years ago. So I called their pop say, look, I've got a plane ticket. I'm flying down there. i got to watch this fight with you. That's how much I'm anticipating seeing this one. That's what's up, man, coming out. Appreciate that love, man. Okay. Uh, let's go to Montana. Uh, Javier, what up, man? Javier. Hey, what up, what up? Um. I don't know what that last guy was talking about because I've been saying this since day one. Um, Floyd or Keith One Time Thurman is the only guy that I believe could beat Floyd. And yeah, um, I know that. <laughs> yeah, forty nine others said the same thing though. I know that uh, Keith One Time Thurman cares about his fans, and I appreciate him bringing the shit down to the to the pub public and on national television. So. Uh, I was wondering if he's going to keep keep doing that. Him and Al Heyman going to keep working on bringing pay per view quality fights to uh, public networks. For sure, man. You know, it's been an honor and blessing to do this thing back to back, exciting electric fights, world class fights on CBS. And I've been I've been real adamant about it that you know. There's money to make in pay-per-view, but I want the views. And when you got to get people to come out of pocket and they trying to feed their kids and they trying to pay their bills and they don't even have HBO and Showtime to begin with. I didn't grow up with HBO and Showtime, mm -hmm. you know, instead of the, you know, I would love to have $20 million in my pocket, but I also would love to have 20 million viewers worldwide, man, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I just have a different kind of heart. I have a different kind of soul, man. You know, at the end of the day, I just want to be the people's champ. Yeah, it is. Keith Thurman is here. Did you find any Danny Garcia fans? Heather, you find any? Uh, no, not yet. Damn, Keith. You look, gotta, man. Uh, look, <laughs> we, I should I should have had some T-shirts out here that said Puerto Ricans for Thurman because I had I had people coming down from Jersey, Philly, 
coming to Florida, visiting family. They might have been in Orlando. They might have been in Sarasota, this, that. They drove to St. Pete Boxing just to take a flick, just to shake the hand with the champ and say, look, man, I want you to handle that business against Danny Garcia. You know, I think his pops lost fans for him with, with, with all that – all that talk, man, yeah. you know. Well, they called it racial slurs. Did you take it as racial slurs when he was saying, calling, you know, my nigga? You know how we, that's how people, yeah. talk. I mean, you did you take it racially? Some people politicize it. I didn't take it that racially, man. At the end of the day, you know, let's be real. Nigga means ignorant. He was ignorant, so he was the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like how you gonna how you gonna put a term on me when Keith One Time Thurman doesn't act ignorant in the ring, doesn't act ignorant outside the ring, but you're gonna stand up, hold your son's belt, and say, I'm the champ. I'm the champ, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you you and Danny been in each other's faces a few times now. I see you guys mumbling stuff. What are you saying to each other when y'all this close? What is he saying to you? What are you saying to him? You know, he's like, this ain't nothing new. You a made champ. I've been here. I've been here. I, I got this, you know. And I'm like, I'm like, Psh, you think you've been here. You ain't been here, motherfucker. Like, I got something <laughs> brand new for you. This shit's brand new for you. You think you've been here? This shit is brand new. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to learn. You're going to learn. It ain't going to take long either. You're going to learn, son. Wow. You know, so... I mean, that and that's the talk I like. I want to know what, what what how the fighter feels, you uh -huh. know. And but the sad thing about it is he's only spitting some of the words that his daddy put in his ear anyway. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on, I mean, that's the sad part. That's you know what I mean? Man, Look, man. he he ain't a grown man. Okay, he's been oh, raised by on, his daddy for too long, man. man. What are you saying, man? <laughs> look, man. I know Danny. He's a good guy. Come on, don't do that, man. Look, look I, I just feel like when 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 you. It's great. There's a lot of people who do not have their fathers around. It is great for people to have their fathers around, their mothers around. You know, I believe that Danny is a special individual. He he has a nicely, tightly knit uh, family, and, yeah. and he has love and support, mm -hmm. and his, his pops is always in his corner. But he ain't saying nothing from himself. He's saying what's been fed to him. Like, look, Danny, you you beat champions. Thurman, they gave him that belt and maybe, this and maybe that. Maybe he's a man of small little words. More action, though, man. You know. Look, his his action's real. I'm, okay. I'm going to be honest you about you that. You can't front but, on him. But at the end of the day, Keith Thurman is not Lucas Matisse, bro. Keith uh, Thurman is not yeah, Lucas Matisse. Yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. think, if you really think you're going to listen to them words of your daddy, like, you been through this? Mm-hmm. Look, man, it might be a short night Saturday night. <laughs> Would anything please you more than making it a short night Saturday night, knocking Danny Garcia to the ground, knocking him out for the first time in his career? The beauty of Saturday night is it truly is a historical moment of boxing, and we're bringing it back on CBS. Not only is it the biggest fight of my career, this unification bout means everything. This happens to be, statistically, the third time in the sport of boxing that two undefeated welterweights are going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to unify the division. Only the third time in boxing history. Wow. For, for your boy Keith One Time Thurman, you've known me for a long time, Sway. Mm -hmm. I'm here to make history. My moment is now. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I take everybody... The same. You. There's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you're stepping into the ring. But there's a reason why I'm here, and I'm going to prove that reason Saturday night. Keith Thurman, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight is going to be. A welterweight unification fight. Third time in boxing history. Saturday night at the Barclays Center, only on CBS. I'll be watching from Paris, France. But know that I'll be watching. Keith, congratulations. I know how hard it is you worked to get to this point and there was a point that nobody would fight Keith no one would fight you man no one and now they gotta fight you and I saw your hard work get you to this point and now is your moment to step into greatness I, I watched Danny Garcia work hard he's a tough fighter man mm -hmm. and now his is mo his moment to step into greatness as a boxing fanatic I want to say thank you because a lot of the great fighters kind of cherry pick their way through their careers. So I appreciate you, man. One Thank love, you man. very much, man. I hope the family's well. Yes, sir. Everybody yes, good? Sir. Yep. All right, man. He's a citizen of Sway in the morning. No Give it doubt. up for Keith no Thurman. Doubt. You want to talk to him directly? Uh oh, 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 we got a Danny fan. Oh, <laughs> oh we got a Danny fan. Adrian, what's up, man? 
Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. How y'all doing? What's good up? morning, man. You got Keith Thurman, <laughs> man. What you want to say to him? Uh, I just want to say uh, good luck. You know, uh, you never want to wish bad up on anybody. Uh, I am a huge Danny fan, though, man. Uh, real, real big fan. But uh, I also got respect for you, man. Um, I, not to sound dumb or nothing, you know, I just hope the fight is, uh, since y'all are my, you know, both my favorite. Oh, oh damn. Damn. Ah, oh, man, damn. Danny uh, fans' phone just AT&T out, ain't raising the better. bar, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's all we have one, man. Hey, Keith, thank you, man. Go be successful. No doubt. Bring it. This is it, man. I'll be watching. Yes, all sir. Right. All right, yes, Keith sir. Thurman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got DJ Wonder ready to go into the mix. And um, later on in the show, we got uh, Memphis Bleak coming by. He's bringing Manolo Rose with him. And we're going to do uh, what we call Sway Chat. Sway in the morning, Shea 4 5. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.